In Wisconsin, nearly 63,000 people are barred from voting because of the state's restrictive laws that keep some convicted felons from participating in elections. Political reporter Darielle Fair has you covered on how the state's high incarceration rates impact civic engagement among its most vulnerable communities. For years, they walked around, election cycles didn't matter to them. After voting, I've seen that paradigm shift where they felt, wow, that meant something. For many Wisconsinites, casting their ballot is something they don't think twice about. But for others, it's a right they've been fighting to earn back for years. Current state law declares felons ineligible to vote until they have successfully fulfilled their prison, parole, and any probationary sentences. Individuals in the community who are working, paying taxes, but yet still they cannot participate in the electoral process in our state. In Wisconsin, disparities in high incarceration rates disproportionately impact people of color. Black people make up less than 6% of the population, but 41% of its prison population. American Indian and indigenous individuals are less than 1%, but 11 times more likely to be in prison than white residents. Senior Director of Advocacy for the Sentencing Project, Nicole Porter, says having the right to vote is just as critical as housing, education, and other resources that help reduce the likelihood of former inmates returning to prison. Voting is a part of a range of pro-social activity that stakeholders and law enforcement officials and lawmakers should work to support and increase access to if they're genuinely concerned with public safety. Wisconsin is one in 15 states with these restrictive voting laws. Bordering states like Illinois, Iowa, and Minnesota are joining the trend to restore voting rights to those formerly incarcerated. Reporting in Madison, Dario Fair, 27 News.